Robert, just Robert. We're going to talk about Robert Vermeer. So we're going to talk about Robert, Robert Vermeer. Now, Robert Vermeer created a book, or published a book, or wrote a book in 1922, and uh, it was called How to Make Strings by a guy called Robert. That's it, that's all, all the name he needed. Didn't even need his surname. He was that well known. You may not know him that much because he's not publicly known as the greatest bartender or one of the best bartenders there is. However, when Imbibe published their top 100 in most influential people of all time, he was in the top 25. He was a Belgian bartender who was born in, all right, bear with me on this one. I'm not good at pronunciations, but it's, uh, I think it's uh, Noke, which is uh, K-N-O-K-K-E. It's a small town in Belgium in 1891. And then around World War I, just before World War I, he went to uh, England and started working in bars out there. Now, what's so amazing about his book is that he's one of the few bartenders, and this is how humble he was and how good he was, is that he would talk and showcase other bartenders. All right? Most people, like for example, um, in the 1920s as well, Harry McElhone published his book, uh, Barflies, and how to mix drinks and an ABC of cocktails. And it was all pretty much about him. Robert Vermeer actually promoted and gave you a snapshot of other bartenders at the time. It was like a little piece of history from a hundred years ago. And that's what it did. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. And also what I love about this book is, it's, it fits in a pocket, breast pocket. Great invention, wonderful. And I used to have an original copy, but I, I gave it to one of my uh, bartenders a long time ago as a, as a leaving present for them. Um, but it's a great book and Robert Vermeer is really rather interesting. He just created something unique, showcased other bartenders at the time when no one else did. And what also happened was though he also had a bit of a hard life towards the end, especially after World War One. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make one of these drinks that he uh, promoted one of his fellow bartenders and the guy was called Tommy Burton and it was at the sports club in around the 1920s. So here we go, we're going to make this drink uh, which is called the Whiz Bang. What a great fucking name for a drink. So here we go, it is ounce and a half Scotch whiskey. Three quarters Rosso Vermouth. Two dashes Grenadine. Two dashes, absinthe. Two dashes, orange bitters. Add ice. And then we stir. Now, Robert Vermeer did really well uh, just up until World War One, right? And he was in England. He actually married a fellow Belgian uh, immigrant as well in London, had a family and everything. And then after the war, he moved back to Belgium. Unfortunately, World War II wasn't good. He, he actually did open up a bar during that period between uh, in the 1920s to around 1929, but the stock market crash destroyed his bar. In fact, because he was so famous just by being called Robert, his bar was actually no, only known as Robert. And some of his guests traveled all over the world to come to his bar. But it all died in 1929. Everything just fell apart for him. And then after that, he just went around, worked in various places like Luxembourg and Belgium and the United Kingdom, and of course in France as well. And then, unfortunately, it just didn't do that well for him in the end. And he left the business in 1958. And then, unfortunately, he died in 1976. It was a very not the most illustrious compared to other bartenders, but at least he promoted others. And he did a really good job. So here we go. Please look him up, Robert Vermeer. Try and get his book, it's a great little book. And then we do lemon oil. So, just a quick recap. Ounce and a half of scotch, 
three quarters of dry vermouth. Two dashes of grenadine, two dashes of orange bitters, two dashes of absinthe, stirred, sh strain, lemon oil, created by uh, Tommy at the sports club in London, UK, 1920s. And here we go. Oh, that is rather lovely. And thank you very much. This is to uh, Robert Vermeer. And in the next episode, we're gonna do another one of drinks that he had promoted someone else with. There we go. Hey up, motherfuckers. Right, see this? Yes, it's empty because I drink a lot of whiskey and I also drink a lot of cocktails and I make a lot of cocktails. But please, can you enjoy and subscribe and like all my videos because I really want to keep this going. Most people out there are boring as fuck. And I watch their shows, they make me fall asleep. It's great when I want to go to sleep. Oh, fucking fantastic. Okay, so please, follow us. If you don't like me, don't. But if you do like me, Please, let's have some fun. Let me be able to buy more whiskey. Thank you.